smallpox vaccinations. Hey everybody, welcome in. WKYT First Alert Weather Day. Tornado warning is out now for a part of Adair County, just to the north of Columbia. This goes into Russell County, southern parts of Casey County as well. And that is uh, for this cell that has some spin on it as it makes its way into the northern part of Casey County or northern parts of Adair County, I should say, just to the north of Columbia. That is making its way toward the southeast. There's your warning that is now on the screen. And this does include the Russell Springs area, does not get into Lake Cumberland, but it is because this storm that we were tracking coming out of the Campbellsville area had straight line winds with it and then a little cell tried to merge with it and all of a sudden we got a little spin that is going on. So we can plot this to show you exactly where we are dealing with this tornado warning that includes Russell Springs. So chances are right now into Adair County, into southern parts of Casey County, a small part of Taylor County and then into Russell County. The tornado sirens are likely going off with this storm that is making its way from northwest to southeast. Now, this is moving very, very quickly. So you know what? Russell Springs is going to be on top of us before you know it. Downtown Columbia, the storm is likely to pass just to our north and northeast. Now, we're slowing this down. We're going to zoom in on it. We're going to look inside this uh, thunderstorm. Here's the Cane Valley area. This is Mansville into southern parts of Taylor County, and you can see the rotation is fairly broad right now, but this has uh, the potential to spit out a weak tornado at least coming toward the Russell Springs area. Damaging winds, even without a tornado, are very likely with this storm as it makes its way on in from northwest to southeast. What we're looking at here is that storm on the leading edge of this. When you see, you've watched this enough to know, when you see a very sharp cutoff like this, or beginning, I should say, to a thunderstorm that is making its way on through, chances are it is putting down some serious winds. So if you're watching us into Dunville, southern part of Casey County, and right on into downtown Russell Springs, let's go ahead and let's find our storm shelters and our safe spot to be on the safe side. Liberty, Casey County, you know what? The sirens, they're likely tied to the entire county, so they're going to be going off countywide, likewise into Russell County and Adair County but it is only for this particular area where we have that tornado warning in the red polygon. Storm on the last frame of this, if you watch this, all of a sudden it starts to weaken just a little bit. So it produced a quick spin up. We were looking at this off camera before the warning came out and you were seeing, we were seeing, me and Jim, a little bit of a spin that was ongoing with that cell. So again, racing from northwest to southeast, but the edge, the southern edge of this has really decreased, at least in the radar, uh, look on this over the past couple of minutes since that tornado warning came out. This is a tornado warning that includes just a small part of Taylor County, but if you're in Adair County and northern parts of Russell County and the extreme southwestern sections of Casey County, you need to be in your storm shelter. This is one of many storms that we are tracking across the Commonwealth. We've got numerous severe thunderstorm warnings that are out across central and southern Kentucky right now. Tornadoes in and around Nashville, Tennessee. Some of the signatures on those tornadoes are scary to see in and around Nashville. What is happening though, you, get, you got tons of heavy rain across Lexington. We're getting a lot of lightning strikes. We're on the northern edge of the severe weather threat this go around. Yesterday we talked about how we were going to target Southern Kentucky and we're going to watch these storms here as well. Noticing the lightning that is increasing across parts of Rockcastle County into northern Pulaski County that may head over into uh, sections of uh, Laurel County coming up here very, very shortly. New severe thunderstorm warning coming out in advance of uh, another storm that has popped here in Clinton and Cumberland counties working into Wayne County. That's a new severe thunderstorm warning that includes part of Whitley County, southern sections of Pulaski County, Monticello into Wayne County. This goes until 835. Any severe thunderstorm in this area, folks, there's enough spin in the atmosphere across southern Kentucky to get any of these storms to begin to spin. And that's when you can get at least a uh, quick tornado spin up or two here into southern Kentucky. And uh, right behind that is our potential tornadic supercell thunderstorm making its way out of uh, Taylor County and into northern parts of Adair County. But I was also uh, mentioning these severe or strong thunderstorms that are, I think, very close to going severe. Pulaski County, 
Rockcastle County and getting toward parts of London as well. All of these storms are racing in from northwest to southeast now, and that is a trend that's going to take us through the next little bit. So you just look at the hot spots of lightning that is showing up out there, and that's when you know these storms mean business. And anytime the Weather Service sees just a little bit of rotation in one of these storms now, we're going to stick out a tornado warning, or they're going to stick out a tornado warning. We're going to relay it to you because the calling card of these storms across western Kentucky and into uh, parts of central Tennessee has been for these storms to spin very easily and spit out at least a weak tornado or two. So that's what we're on guard for with this particular storm that is making its way now toward Russell Springs into northern sections of the Russell County area. Gradyville, Columbia, here into Adair County, we're okay with this. But uh, just looking at the radar on this, uh, meteorologist Jim Caldwell joining me now. Looks like they've updated part of that, Jim, with that storm that is now diving toward the southeast. Looking at the radar presentation of this, the storm may have peaked right about the time they were issuing that warning. Well, that's what it looks like, yeah, because right around that time, that's when you had the most intense section and uh, the strongest hand of that rotation. But there it is, and what they've done is they shaved the back off of it uh, a little bit, and they've continued on out with the rest of it uh, that's moving south and east toward uh, the folks here in Russell Springs. So as you said a minute ago, if you're in Russell Springs or you're out toward Dunville or somewhere in between there along 127, uh, right now is the time to get into whatever safe location that you have because this is coming our way right now. I'm going to go in a little bit tighter and we'll plot some more communities this way so you can see some other uh, folks there. There's a place called Jericho out there. Webb's Crossroads uh, is also in the mix for all of this. I see Gentry's Mill. Uh, and again, we mentioned Dunville and there's uh, Eunice as well. So all of that dropping toward the south there. That's uh, along 206. It's passing right over 206 here within the next couple of minutes. Uh, and then along 76 and then 127 you see there as we uh, dig in uh, deeper uh, into uh, just north of uh, Russell Springs. That, that's where the bulk of that is headed at this particular moment. Yeah, Jim, and this is a storm that made its way across Campbellsville. I was just getting uh, seeing some pictures out of Campbellsville of trees that were knocked down on a home there into Campbellsville. But that tornado warning is right here, this red polygon. And that is the warning. The center of uh, spin or the spin with this is right around in here. And Jim's going to look inside this storm uh, just to the east of Cane Valley to the south of the uh, Clemensville area and toward Dunville. Jim, it's still got a pretty good little spin with it. It's maybe not as tight as what we saw when this was being issued, but you can't look at that and say, okay, there, you know, there's no rotation there. There is some spin showing up with this storm as it continues to make its, uh, make its way toward 127 busy corridor which would be right on into Russell Springs as well. You're absolutely right. And again, what we're looking at here, folks, that, that, that green and that red, how close they are together and how they appear to even come into a circular form. That, that's what we're looking at. So you got uh, wind going away from the radar, wind coming toward the radar, and that's your spin. Uh, that's what we're getting out there. So uh, the particular radar that we're looking at, it, it, the rotation is just like so. That's what we're seeing right there within that and embedded in there. Also, uh, just associated with it uh, all around, you've got some pretty intense wind, probably up to at least 60 miles per hour or higher uh, embedded within that too. So that is also a another factor that, that comes into play. Uh, when you're dealing with a thunderstorm like this on that level. Yeah, well, I just saw the uh, 59 mile an hour wind gusts at a Kentucky Mesonet site there in Adair County. So that was just happening. Now, obviously that uh, storm is going to produce a lot of wind damage, even if it's not spinning up a tornado, because now you're getting 60 plus mile per hour potential with this storm, even uh, again, those are just straight line winds. And let's say you do have a tornado with that. Obviously, that's going to up the ante for damage. But this is what produced that wind damage coming out of the Campbellsville area into Taylor County. And that's going to continue to head right toward Russell Springs, Jamestown. It's very, very close to getting in there. Dunville, we're right on the uh, northern edge of this. So in the center of this polygon is where this possible tornado is going to be traveling. And again, that will get toward uh, 127 that goes from Dunville and goes right on into Russell Springs and Jamestown. And for people who are down here right now, we are hearing the tornado sirens. We are hearing uh, those blaring in the distance in all likelihood. But again, it is really only concerning this 
part of those uh, particular counties where the greatest threat is for that tornado warning and that possible tornado coming at Jim.